What's up everyone? My name is Anish Kumar and today we will make some dynamic advertisement. So you have seen some of the advertisement which keep on moving like keep on moving moving. Uh, so we'll make them in flash and I'll also tell you how to embed them into your website or into your blog. So I made this website uh say this advertisement for my website. This is the video galaxy.blogspot.com. The link is given in the video description below. So this is particularly the ad that I made for my friend. You can made it. You can made any of your advertisement which keeps on moving. And uh, also I gave it a link here which redirects to my friend's page. You can check out. And so we'll start making it today. So go to Flash. First of all, the size. If you want to make it a square advertisement like this, which I found found on nineyak.com. It should be probably 250 by 250 pixels. And uh, if you want to make a rectangular ad, which I made for my website, it should be around 300 by 600, depending upon the widget or the layout of your sidebar. So we'll make it 300 by 600. 300 is the width, 600 is the height. So create new file click on action script 3.0 on your flash it will be flash cs6 show frame so first of all we'll adjust the stage properties go to size and keep it to 300 this is the width and the height should be 600 pixels okay so click on show frame from here so this is a particularly so we'll be simply creating some a computer ad so let me pause down a moment and collect some images so here is the PC image that I downloaded from Google so let's import it by drag and drop simple uh, so first you will need to require some flash skills in making these advertisements so small small so there's not much you should also have a practice to name your layers first of all you should always name your layers it tells particularly what this layer is doing so let's do for images I just double tap it and let's create two more new layers this layer will be our button layer which will sh click and go to our website the second layer should be animation which tells uh, some text or well, let's do it for text okay on the first layer which is images you will want to create some animation and go to frame 30 of the first layer and insert a keyframe and you want on frame 30 it should be like here so create classic tween uh, press uh, right click and go to create classic tween on any of the frame from 1 to frame 30 create classic tween and so it does some tweening so it's not a good animation but you can improve it if you have some flash skills let me rotate it so that it looks very good so click on tweening options from here if you cannot see the properties tab here go to windows and click on properties uh, go to tweening option click on clockwise and select you can change it to any I'm using it 3 so it will move like this it will rotate it and so it will be like this so press control enter to test your movie so it's good but it's not staying so press F5 for adding extra frames go to any of the frame 60 55 press F5 for frames so now it will stay animate up to 30th frame and it will stay up to 60th frame so now on the second layer let's add some text so up to frame 30 it doesn't do anything on the frame 31 click on insert keyframe and click on T which is text tool so write down here mm, by a PC for 500 bucks 
okay you can change the font size font color from here you can also change the stage uh, color from here click on the stage no layer selected and click on stage and you can change it like to this okay that looks very good on frame 60 hit uh, insert keyframe on the text layer and similarly same as we did before on the frame 60 we want it to here and insert classic twin create classic twin actually so it it is doing like simple if you want your size to uh, loosen I mean like shrink a bit go to frame 30 and increase its size by pressing Q which is free transform tool and press shift so that it's doesn't lose its proportion or expect ratio so it's like you can also rotate it counterclockwise now like two rotations so it's like this it looks pretty good let's see well very good for our first advertisement now we'll create buttons so for creating buttons click on R for a rectangle tool which is here we are on the button layer remember this now we are writing something on the button layer by pressing D which shows to click here changing the font by pressing this white option our button is ready now we the button is not uh, almost ready uh, we need to group it so highlight all of it and modify group or you can press ctrl G or now it's grouped but it's not a button actually it's a bitmap it's just a uh, something image so right click convert to symbol button it would uh, be probably movie clip so you have to select it to button you should name you should always name your buttons so for the purpose of this we are writing it BDN okay so now we'll be using some code snippets uh, so let's place it here let's move this keyframe to frame like 60 so that it appears as soon as these both animations are done rotating let's increase the frames on frame 100 by pressing F5 just pressing F5 I just selected both of them and pressed F5 on this frame click on this which is a button we have to give an instance name for a button so let's give the instance name which was the name of the button the name of the button was btn and so the instance name is also btn you can change the instance name to any other uh, but for the sake of this video is we're keeping the name and instance name button same as btn so let's uh, go to code snippets from here if you cannot see this panel here let's go to window and code snippets click here and go to actions uh, and go to click to go to web page and double tap it and a small pop-up will open here is a bunch of action script which is a programming language in flash so let's delete this this is comments if you know flash action script which is very good but still no worry you just need to change this HTTP colon forward slash forward slash adobe.com to your desired um, website so my website is the video galaxy or lettuce flash dot blocks for this is my website lettuce flash you can visit it for more queries dot blogspot dot com okay uh, so now we have added another layer so press F5 until 100 frame so that it also appears your button because there is no frames here press F5 so it's really good and enough 
press Ctrl S to save your project or just go to file and save and save it as a uh, advertisement so it's saved press Ctrl S again press Ctrl enter to test your movie wow it's good it's good for our first ad we want it to stay for like more seconds so press F like on 50th frame press F5 for more frames press Ctrl S press Ctrl enter to test the movie and it will stay for like more couple of seconds when you click here it will redirect you to my website which is let us flash so you can find action script tutorials on my website so now I'll tell you how to host your uh, this SWF file on a website on a free website and uh, let me pause it so go to sites.google.com it is a free web hosting service that lets you create sites and host your uh, some anything any document any files basically so create new website by create it's simple so I've created this example go to example and click on this open more actions menu and go to uh, manage site on manage site you will upload your um, by clicking on attachments and clicking on attachments you can just upload by clicking on upload so I'm uploading this SW file not the flash file so this is SW file click open and it will upload and go to your blog or your website I'm um, just doing it on my website on my so go to your website I have uh, created a blog sample blog go to layout and uh, just first of all let go to my website which is let us flash .com. the link is given in the video description below so go to embed flash or SW file on your blogger or website click on this post it is a popular post and you need to grab this HTML code this HTML code you can read it's very easy just copy it and go to your ad gadget you just need to add this into your HTML or JavaScript gadget paste it here add your title as sponsors or anyth anything blah 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 so beneath your src which is source where your link of the website will go delete up to dot swf and we'll paste the link of our advertisement which is by clicking on view and up till it is swf you can see it is up till swf and after that it is nothing but some weird looking URL let's delete all of this and just copy it up to SWF and paste it on your so there's two SWF let's delete it so what I did I is I just pasted up to dot SWF the link of our attachment let's say your get it oh so here is our gadget let's view our blog actually one more thing we didn't change the size the width was 300 sorry 300 and the height was 400 you can just read this code it's very simple it's embedding something its height is 400 and its width is 300 also it's taking f the source from this website which was our uh, basically attachment okay let's view the blog Ooh. okay let's see oh wow it's very amazing so here is our beautiful webs beautiful advertisement you can make dynamic advertisement like this which will keep on playing again and again and again when you click here you will go to my website you can 
go to a friend website or do uh, something or do just for fun it was very easy if you want to stop the script at that moment like now if you want to stop it just have to add one more thing at the last on the last frame click on actions uh, first of all create insert keyframe so go to actions and write stop stop two parentheses and a semicolon line terminator save the project press control enter and now your script will stop after 150th frame okay now now it's stopped thanks for watching the video please do subscribe and follow me on facebook and just it's facebook.com slash i am you can follow me on facebook and thank me there if you like this video thanks for watching the video bye bye okay 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 this is me you can follow me here bye bye